Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. And today we have part two of Carl Sandberg's How Googler and Gaggler, the Two Christmas Babies, Came Home with Monkey Wrenches. In Monday's episode, we learned a little bit about the twins, the Christmas babies, Googler and Gaggler. And we learned, and this is my favorite way of describing young boys, about the fun and the danger and the dreams in the eyes of these two boys. And as we last left it, their mother had told them to pick up their feet and run, go to the grass, go to the new green grass, to go to the young frogs and ask why they're shooting stars up into the sky, to pick up their feet and run. At last, Googler and Gaggler were big boys, big enough to pick the stickers out of each other's hair, big enough to pick up their feet and run away from anybody who chased them. One night, they turned flip-flops and handsprings and climbed up on top of a peanut wagon where a man was pouring hot butter into popcorn sacks. They went to sleep on top of the wagon. Googler dreamed of teasing cats, killing snakes, climbing apple trees, and stealing apples. Gaggler dreamed of swimming in brickyard ponds and coming home with his back sunburnt so the skin peeled off. They woke up with heavy gunny sacks in their arms. They climbed off the wagon and started home to their father and mother lugging the heavy gunny sacks on their backs. And they told their father and mother, We ran away to the thimble country where the people wear thimble hats, where the women wash dishes in thimble dishpans, and the men go to work with thimble shovels. We saw a war. The left-handed people against the right-handed. And the smokestacks did all the fighting. They all had monkey wrenches, which they tried to wrench each other to pieces. And they had monkey faces on the monkey wrenches to scare each other. All the time they were fighting, the thimble people sat looking on. The thimble women with thimble dishpans, the thimble men with thimble shovels. They waved handkerchiefs to each other, some left-handed handkerchiefs, some right-hand handkerchiefs. They sat looking till the smokestacks with their monkey wrenches wrenched each other all to pieces. Then Googler and Gaggler opened the heavy gunny sacks. Here, they said. Here is a left-handed monkey wrench. Here is a right-handed monkey wrench. And here is a monkey wrench with a monkey face on the handle to scare with. Now, the father and mother of Googler and Gaggler wonder how they will end up. The family doctor keeps on saying, They will go far and see much, but they will never sit with the sitters and knit with the knitters. And sometimes, when their father looks at them, he says what he said the Christmas Eve when the two for a nickel candle stood two by two in the windows. Twice times twice is twice. And that is the quick end to how Googler and Gaggler, the two Christmas babies, came home with monkey wrenches. And we learn how they came home with those wrenches and about the war that they saw between the left hand and the right hand people. And somehow the smokestacks, they did all the fighting. This is Dan Scholes from the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com, where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>